with the pimp using knocking doors down. How did that song go around that time? What was your mind? Well, because- me and pimp fell out. Oh. About that song. <laughs> pimp B. Oh, that's my brother. Red Boy, which was which is bond manager, um, and he was doing manager for Pimp at the time. He came with the song, knocking mm-hmm. those down. He was like, Pimp wanna get you on this song. Well, it's my hook, it's me, it's my sample. Yeah. So what Pimp was talking about, <laughs> I really didn't want no part of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he do it immediately. He do he it. He cussed everybody. He cussed everybody. <laughs> he do it him. I'm like, man, I'm not fit to do. I don't want in. Let you do it. That's what you do. <laughs> he didn't got a whip. I want this kind of verse. I'm like, man. So I told Red Boy, Red Boy, you know that ain't what I'm talking about when I'm saying knocking door. And Red Boy was like, man, just do you. Yeah. So I just did me. Yeah. Oh, he he won't be to just do me. <laughs> so, man, I had to get up, go through hell to get him on chunk up to do. Oh. He did it. That's my boy. He did it. He missed the video. Uh, we had to shoot it without him. Yeah. I seen him at the airport and he just told me, I was mad at you. <laughs> I say, man, can't nobody else tell me this shit but you, man. You know what I'm saying? But that's my dog. And the, and the song, and what's so crazy, man, everything's so crazy. Chunk of the Dudes might be one of my biggest, it is, it might be one of my biggest streamers. So Yeah. Yeah. Break down that Chunking Up the Deuces, man. Man, um, I was at the Swiss house. We was we, People always think, man, the Swiss house, Deal was a deal that I had with Ferris, really, you know, mm-hmm. T. Ferris, and um, it was it was um, brokered through Swiss House. G. Dash, shout out him, Michael Watts, and um, we was um, we just did that ABA, the album for the album, mm-hmm. a killer, and we did Gangsta Grill mm-hmm. with DJ Drum, and um, what up though, Drum, Drum, my bro, yeah. um, and we was trying to figure it out, you know what I'm saying, like what kind of single we was going, we was um. The anticipation was big. Everybody was waiting to see if I was going to fall out for what I was going to do. I done signed with Swish House. And we was just trying to, um, the chunk up the deuce, man, actually, it had a different beat. It was a Twilight Zone beat. Mm. And we couldn't get a sample. We couldn't get the sample cleared. And we was trying to say, it was just me and Paul. And we was just like, man, right then, that was our circle, sort of. You know, the Swish House yeah. circle, the Rapper Life circle, Bun. I was on Draped Up with Bun. And yeah. all. It, it was kind of going in a circle. So, we got Pimp and Bun. They was fresh in what they was doing too, because Pimp was just back home, and it was a. So we put it together, man. And to be honest, man, it did something for me that I wasn't expecting. What it did for me was help me reunite the city mm-hmm. back together from the north and the south. Cause we still was on shaky ground, man. You're gonna have some people, man, that ain't gonna never change their mind. Yeah. But for the most part. <laughs> It was a good thing to realign in the city, man. I do well on the north and the south, though. Yeah, yeah. So we good. Yeah. 